Today's video is brought to you by eWin Racing, the best source for gaming chairs and desks for those long gaming sessions. We have a playlist of our eWin chair and desk videos linked in the video description below. Save 30% off of everything using the discount code TECHDEALS. More details at the end of the video. Bob comes in with an interesting question that I'm sure some of you are going to say, what does A have to do with B? Well, actually, it's an interesting question. Let's go down this rabbit hole, shall we? He asks, is high refresh rate monitor as important as an SSD? I forgot to set my monitor back to 120 hertz after Ryzen 9 upgrade, and it felt choppy, and now it's amazing since I reset it. Here's the funny thing. If I run a monitor it's at 30 hertz, like a 4K monitor through HDMI 1.4, it's awful. The mouse is choppy, the screen is awful. It's basically unusable. At 60 hertz, I'm like, oh, okay, great, it's smooth. I can move the mouse, everything's responsive, everything's fine. I have at home personally a 100 hertz, 34 inch ultra wide monitor. And we have a couple of 144 hertz monitors here at the office that I've used. We do. I don't find high refresh rate monitors to be that big of a deal over 60 hertz monitors. Don't all throw tomatoes at me at once. <laughs> to those of you who love your high refresh rate monitor, I am not saying it's bad. I'm not saying it doesn't work. I'm not saying it's not great for you. You don't notice a difference? Is that what you're saying? I have to look really hard for it. But if he was on 120 and it reset him to 60, he'd notice that, wouldn't he? I, I wouldn't. Here's why. I play City Skylines, XCOM 2. Oh, games. Excuse me? <laughs> I play Battletech. Um, I don't play the sorts of games that high refer I am not a Call of Duty Modern Warfare player. I am yeah, not a Fortnite player. I, I don't play CSGO. I don't... It depends on your games. It doesn't matter to what I do. And so I just kind of sort of shrug my, holder, my shoulders and go... Your holders? <laughs> um, I remember the 90s PC gaming were trying to get Strike Commander to run on my 386.25 was like a 10 frame per second affair. I remember running, trying to run Quake on my 486DX266 and watching it go... You know, and it was useless. So 60 frame per second gaming to me is gorgeous. God, can you imagine going from 144 hertz to 360? I don't know that I would see or care about the difference. Now, before again, you all throw tomatoes at me, I get it. If you are a dedicated, pro prolific Rainbow Six Siege player, Overwatch player, uh, if you play those games and you are competitive and you care about the polling rate of your wired, I mean, I use a wireless mouse. I use basic wireless mice. I don't really care. Yeah. There are people who won't use a wireless mouse because it isn't responsive enough and there's input lag. Yes. Yeah, well, I don't they, care. Their keyboard too. I mean, between but, your keyboard, your monitor, and your mouse, that can be... But I am not dissing it so much as I'm saying that for my use case, it doesn't matter. Bob's use case might. And his question is, is high refresh rate monitors as important as SSDs? Here's my challenge in addressing this point. Because I don't care, I don't feel like I am best qualified to answer the question. I know who I would ask. In fact, the very first name that comes to my head, if I wanted to do a collaboration to answer that question, do you know who I would ask? Monitor? Yes. Oh, um, how we're unboxed? Oh, good Lord, no. Jay's Two Cents? No. Who? Do you think either of those people are competitive gamers? Oh, oh, competitive gamer? Oh, ammun ammunition. Thank you. Ammunition. She has a 360 60. hertz monitor, and she is a platinum level siege player. That's true, yeah. She goes to tournaments, she goes to cons, she's competitive, and she holds no punches. I actually like watching her Twitch stream because yeah. she's really, it's like Very watching good. Michael Jordan play basketball or mm -hmm. Tiger Woods play golf back when he was better at it. You're watching m people who are really, now I know Ammunition's not the best siege player in the world, but. She's pretty damn good. <laughs> she kicked my ass. I love watching somebody 
who is a master of what they do because it's, it's just, it's like watching an artist paint. It's like watching Bob Ross paint. Yes. It's, it's just watching a master at work. She has a 360 hertz monitor and I'm willing to bet that if I stuck a 120 hertz monitor oh, in front of her, she'd probably go, what the hell? She'd be swearing. Yeah, she would. I think she would be like, what the actual crap is this garbage? So if you haven't checked your high refresh rate, and if you have changed your system in any way, definitely go and check out my video that I did on high refresh rate monitors. Um, just do a quick little zzz, 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 high, refresh rate, high refresh rate. On the main channel. On the main channel on Tech Deals. So head over to Tech Deals. Should we put a link in there for them? Yeah, but we won't remember. <gasps> yes, we will. Okay. Because I'll remind you. There you go. You'll just have to do it. I will just have to do it, yes. yes. Um, but see, in that particular situation, I would ask somebody like that who is that sort of competitive player because they will have a perspective yes. that I honestly lack. What I don't want to do is try to be an expert in an area I am not an expert in, and I suck at Rainbow Six Siege. I play Overwatch casually. You'll never find me going up the ranked ladder and being competitive because I don't care that much. I'm, I'm a casual gamer. I just like to play and have fun. And 60 hertz is fine for me. I mean, I have a 100 hertz monitor. Great. I mean, it's set to 100 hertz, but, you know, when you're playing Cyberpunk at 45 frames per second, it hardly matters. So to answer Bob's question, I think that high refresh rate monitors matter to people who are sensitive to frame rates and sensitive to input lag and sensitive to performance in environments and games where that matters. Yes. And City Skylines and XCOM 2 don't care. No. Siege and Overwatch do, but I don't play those. I mean, I play Overwatch with my kids occasionally. I mean, I, but you know, I, I only, it's a good example of a game I only play one character. I play D.Va, I don't play anybody else. Nope. I haven't learned the other characters. Nope. I don't wanna learn the other characters. I I'm not that interested. He's but not. I love the fact that when Diva loses all her health, she ejects out of her mech and you can run around with the gun. Yes. And then after enough time and points have passed, then you can call down another mech. And the other characters, you just die and then you have to respawn. You do. What? Nothing. So that's my opinion. And I realize that that is probably not the most helpful answer. But I think it's an interesting comparison because once you've gone to SSDs, you wouldn't want to go back to our hard drives. Hard drives would be garbage. And to people who are sensitive to refresh rate, going back to 60 would probably feel like crap. But I've got 60, 100, and 144 hertz monitors, and I don't notice the difference. So I guess I just suck at, at gaming or something. I don't know what. Do you notice the difference? I've never really paid attention. I mean, I've got a, what, a 60? You have a 60 hertz. I have a 60 hertz right now. And I just play Water Warships. So. If we put a 144 hertz monitor in front of you, do you think you'd notice? Probably not for the games that I play. World of Warships does not need 144 hertz. Well, no, it's, it stops at 75 any, anyway. You can actually lift that limit in the engine config file, but every time a new patch comes out, it resets it, and yeah. you have to go change it every time. Exactly, so. That's entirely too much work. Hopefully that was helpful, Bob. Ewin Racing has a wide selection of chairs to fit all shapes and sizes of gamers, ranging from petite to cuddly. They have something for every type of gamer. Not just sizes, but colors and material options as well, including red, blue, purple, pink, orange, and more, plus cloth and leather choices. We have over half a dozen chair and desk videos in a playlist down in the video description below. We also have a very special offer just for Tech Deals viewers. Save 30% off of everything using discount code Tech Deals using our link in the video description. We have used Ewin gaming chairs for three years in our office, sitting on them for up to eight hour marathon live streams. They are very comfortable and we are happy to work with Ewin to bring you this special discount and recommend Ewin for all of your gaming chair and desk needs.